For some reason, my stream was terminated. I don't know what was the last thing I said. Yeah, no, uh, for some reason, it, like, the stream was terminated, like, like, the exploit broadcaster, but... Uh, yeah, uh... Ah, that is really, 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 really freaking loud. Ow. That hurt my ears. Yes, I will close the software. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed the game. Not much else I can say, though. It's, it's Pikmin, if you like Pikmin. It's, it's definitely a good game, you should try it out. Like, I like how I'm telling this. This is more, like, in general for people watching the archive, because obviously you played it. <gasps> Let's do exciting fuzz. What? Uh, I was looking at Brandon Pikmin 3 trivia, and I ended up on the page for Charlie. Yeah. Uh, remember when I said that I that I noticed that uh, Charlie may or may not be hitting on Brittany? Yeah. Apparently, that's only in the PAL version. In the North American version, they changed it to him uh, just, like, uh, making prideful statements about himself. Oh. So in my version, uh, he's egotistical. In your version, he is hitting on the girl. Nice. Uh, I don't know which is better. I just actually realized something. I should go back and look at, like, the, the data for the fruit, because that might be interesting. Because apparently my version is different from uh, the American version as well. Yeah, they always change... Is it just me, or they always change things with the Pikmin games? Uh, not always, but they, they change it sometimes. I'll just, I'll just read some of the entries. I won't read it in the voice, though, because screw that. <laughs> uh... In the meantime, uh, I guess I have to think of something else I should do. Uh, I can't start that. Okay, when the day ends, but... I'm not gonna let the day end, because I'm just gonna look at the fruit. And we're gonna call it a day. Uh, right, let's look at the fruit. Alright, so... See what they have to say. Sunseed berry. Never experienced anything like this. Scientifically speaking, the flavor straddles the boundary between scrumptious and delicious. And it can only be described as scrumpalicious. On the downside, this fruit appears to have a nasty case of pimples. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's see what all lemon is. Face wrinkler. This fruit is so sour that one bite makes my whole face want to climb into the mouth and pull it back out. The juice is high in, in pictamin U, though, so I suppose I'll be to try adding small amounts of it to the other food. Other, other more appetizing food. The lemon, the zest bomb. This one's sour, but it smells really nice. I wonder if, it would, <laughs> if the juice would work great as a deodorant. Also, I wonder if he can spare a little for, for the experiment. Finally, I wonder if the captain would notice if I doused him in it while, while his back was turned. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess he smells. Bizarre, when you cut open this, when you cut this open, it's filled with tiny white flowers. I mean, it's technically not a fruit at all. Alice has also indicated that it won't be ripe for very long before it starts to rot. Never mind, I can always feed it to the captain. Uh, this is the, uh, the fig, I think. Then the pocked airhead, or like the specific type of melon with the, like, Things sticking out of it. When you opened this one up, I was curious to find out as to what we find inside. Funny, uh, funny head at the top turns out was empty. So it's six skins and its head was, uh, with a whole lot going inside. Hmm. Reminds me of someone in this team. I like how she is just continuously insulting the captain. <laughs> Even though it looks like one of the most monstrous beasts that populate this planet, this fruit has a light flavor of plenty of seeds. I'm sure it will grow great for sores. Uh, if people don't run away from it in terror, that was the dragon fruit. Then the cherries. What a find, these people who come by are sure to be blown away by this weapon of mass nutrition. Such divine sweetness. One bite and I'm already head over heels. It was also known as a cupid bomb. Uh, the velvet drain drop. Or, 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 otherwise known as the tangerine. This taste reminds me of a sweet... Auntie... B? Bay? It's B.A., I don't know how you pronounce that. Gave me as a child, the big, greedy stone that doesn't leave much room for Jews. But that may but maybe someday we'll go into a tree in, in the back garden and I can hear and I can repay her kindness. She was so sweet for me. Alright, the the dapper blob, whatever the thing was, it was the queen of fruit, I remember that. A blob dressed up in a fancy bonnet, I imagine the suave little chap. Out hobnobbing over the movers and shaking the botanical world. It's a pity when I see it, you little blob. Fear not, though. Your bonnet will make a fine addition to my wardrobe. <laughs> oh. 
than orange is. Sweet, succulent the stuff with pic Pikmin U. The white fiber on the other side of the peel abounds with nutrients. It's pretty yucky to eat. Perhaps a little treat for the cap a little treat for the captain, perhaps. And then the the purple grapes or the black grapes. There's something very charming about all these little beads packed and full of juice. They make me feel like they'll never run out. The color reminds me of something. Oh, it's Hottie Bee's hair. She has such rebellious streak. Such a rebellious streak. The mango, or the heroin's tear. Sweet, elegant, great taste. The other half named this fruit Brittany. Sadly, it brings poor Alf out in a rash, and the captain's not refined enough to appreciate it. Oh, how it pains me to dissolve to myself. I'll season it with my tears. Ew. That's nasty. Okay, so there's a kiwi. Haha, this fuzzy specimen thought it could size itself as one one of the native creatures. But you know I'd spell Pikmin you anywhere. You can't fool the senses of a hungry copite. Not the green grapes, or the white grapes. In color and shape, these remind me of the captain in a stupid green suit. Lots of little captains. Ugh. Luckily the resemble ends there. Smooth skin, subtle scent, and refined taste. Not like the captain at all then. Ow. Lesser mock bottom. This fruit's flesh is soft and pale and uh, soft, pale and yellow. It's juicy and has a sweet, sour flavor. I must also note that it's shaped almost exactly like a baby's bottom. What, sci what the scientific merit of this observation is, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. I guess I don't know. Avocado, scaly custard, or was it like, wasn't it like crocodile scrotum in the Japanese version or something? Mm -hmm. It like literally translated to that. We are not even kidding about that one. You can look it up. Strange, it looks like a cross between a reptile and pudding. It doesn't seem like a very fruit at all. A little juicy, not at all sweet, with a high fat content. Tasty, I suppose, but in an odd way. Not for any reaction to certain toxins in it. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's his reptile side showing. So, now for the melon. It's huge, super juicy, and filled with tons of seeds to take home and cultivate. What an incredible find. Then we get, uh. Not, uh, the. Searing acid shock, or is that like the? It's not the peach. It's like the other, like butt-shaped one. Oh, sour, so sour. I feel, I feel my taste buds have been turned inside out. We can't afford to waste edible fruit, but this one will need to be pickled or something before anyone would willingly eat it. And on the plus side, I'll never forget the face that Elf made. I like how she's such a dick to the other characters. <laughs> yeah, Brittany's amazing. Ah, uh, star fruit. <laughs> It was as if the stars had aligned. Three implorers embark on a voyage since to the stars to search for edible matter. What did I find? Edible matter in the form of a star. I was so excited and sure it would be delicious. Then I tasted it and found out it was just sort of sour. Oh. Grapefruit. A stringent clump. A little sweet, a little sour, but mostly just bitter. Alf can't cope with the bitterness and just asked me to sweeten it somehow. But I have to say, it's growing on me. Maybe it's one of those refined tastes he'll learn when he gets a bit older. Uh, the tomato. Just gotta keep calling it that. This radiant specimen should remind me of my childhood in Cope. I mean, would watch the sunset while enjoying a big dinner, but instead it makes me think of the onset of the night of this planet. And it's the monstrosities that it brings. I've covered it up so we can sleep in peace. Oh. Then the, the gold kiwi, or the yellow kiwi, or whatever you want to call it. Aha, this fuzzy fruit obviously wanted to camouflage itself as a wild beast, but it wasn't fooled for a minute. They lack the legs. It was a dead giveaway in any case. It's so delicious looking and so full of Pikmin U that I doubt the odd limb or two would pull would put me off. Oh. Insect con though, or the apple. I'm having difficulties prying my nose away from the crisp sweet scent. I dive in and devour, but somehow the name leads me to suspect that the, own the ownership of the specimen may be contested. I won't trespass until we've conducted a proper survey. Oh. Pear is a seed hive. This is a bit of an emotional roller coaster for us. We were lured in by the sweet sin, but when we cut it open, it was infected by huge insects. And I'll faint it, poor thing. When I realized that the insects were actually seeds. Hooray! Alf will wake up. Eventually. Then the melon, or the wayward moon. Once you get past the coarse, cratered exterior, you'll find that its fruit is full of delicate and sweet on the inside. It's probably how the captain sees himself. Actually, I personally think that resemblance ends at the coarse, centered, at the coarse, cratered part. Ow. Juicy gaggle. Still don't know why raspberries are like juicy geese, but sure. Finally, s something on this planet that isn't gigantic. The little red globes aren't perfect size for Copé hands, and the juice inside to make a good meal. I bet these will be in the lunchbox 
fav favorite back home. Uh, the Asian pear. Lots of juice in here, and it's like having your taste buds washed away in, in a tide of sweetness. Not for the way I picked them in you, but it's nutrition is and everything. So she just want the food or the flavor. Tremendous sniffer. Wait, that's the pear. What was the other one then? Oh, uh, the seed hive was something else. I don't know what it is. Let's see, tremendous sniffer is the pear. This was one that actually sweet flavor and soft texture. Somehow, they're not to be my anti B. Her nose is shaved like this fruit too, so so elegant, so glamorous, and she's the envy of the family with that nose. Hi, my aunt, I want to go home. Then here's a banana. Slapstick crescent. Gosh, this is delicious. Hell's gone. Absolutely no banana has gone absolutely bananas over this thing. Wall. <laughs> the peel seems quite slippery, but how slippery, I wonder. Slippery enough to dispatch a person, or how about a fully grown man with a mustache? I must find out, in the interest of science. Mock bottom. Skin, pink coloration, fuzzy texture. Flesh, soft with a huge water content. Stone, large or robust. Appearance, looks like a bottom. Tee hee hee. Well then. <laughs> Alright, I will watch that later. Because I'm, I'm not going to watch uh, videos on stream. For semi-obvious reasons. I know I could, but... streaming me watching something isn't very interesting. Now then again, uh... what should I do? Uh... Hmm. Oh, hi! Yeah, I'm not... What? okay, then I can especially not stop streaming, uh... Oh, yeah, no, because someone just arrived. Yeah, oh. that, that would really suck if I did that. Uh... Let's see, um... I still got... Other M right over here. <laughs> Don't know what oh, else I would stream. Oh, other M. Okay, fine, we'll do other M. I'll do a bit of other M. I just let... I kind of, I kind of feel like it. I kind of feel like it. And by kind of, I mean that... Yeah, I do kind of feel like it. Because I do want to play more of that game, but... Yeah, so... Because you got here is why I'm gonna do another game now, which is the game that I did before, which is Master Daughter Ram, which I know everybody finds thrilling, but You know what's not fun? Other oh, Ram. No, oh, okay. I don't know. I get I get a strange immune I get my kicks in strange ways, and Other Ram is one of them. Uh Okay, I was about to say, like I was wondering if the Wii U was gonna eat the disc. Also, now that the batteries died on yesterday's stream, I won't get the, the battery message the entire time. So that's gonna be, uh... a glorious new... experience, I guess. Let me take a small drink. Hopefully it won't be too loud. And it turns out that ear raped everyone. In which case, good. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not really ready, but hey. I do kind of want to beat this at some point, because it's one of very few Metroid games I haven't actually beaten yet. Oh no, like, no, like, okay. I kind of wanted to continue streaming, but I didn't entirely know, like, what to do. It gave us inspiration. Or if I really wanted to, but now that you're here, that, like, gives me... Like... That pretty much just gives me reason to keep streaming. Oh, so we are... So we already kind of wanted to, but... But the be like creature in Sector 1 and destroys the nest. Oh... Don't use, like, the, the Super Metroid opening music for this. Oh, God. 